Live from Dallas-Fort Worth, this is WFAA News. And breaking news, as we come on the air this midday, a 15-year-old boy on a bicycle hit and killed just outside a Frisco ISD middle school. Thanks for joining us this midday. I'm Chris Sadegi. This happened at Roach Middle School in the city of McKinney, but it is a Frisco ISD school. Today is the first day of school for that district. Our Megan Mitchell is on the scene. Megan, what can you tell us right now? I mean, just tragic when you think about the camaraderie of the first day of school and what this boy was looking forward to this year. We do know that that one boy died from his injuries in this crash, but we also know that this intersection is a major issue for pedestrians, but especially students in this area. Now, police tell us that this started this morning at 5 a.m. here right across from Roach Middle School, which, as you mentioned, Chris, is technically part of Frisco ISD, but to be clear, it is technically McKinney. So their officers tell us that a 15-year-old boy was riding his bike across Independence Parkway here when he was struck. The driver got out and tried to help that teen, but he did not survive. Now, I spoke with a neighbor in this area who was actually walking his dog at the time. When he heard that accident, he came across the corner to see a number of people assisting that boy. And he tells me that people fly down this road. He just wishes there were more patrol officers, there was better lighting, and says drivers need to slow down. And they had crosswalkers, but the crosswalkers, sometimes they don't get here on time. Um, sometimes they get here at 7. Sometimes I've seen some good ones that get here at 630, 645. And sometimes they get upset, but they were not here before that time. They were not here before 7 or 6.45, because that's when we went through. We didn't see anybody. You can see that crosswalk sign is just in front of where the building right there is, Roach Middle School. You can also see that there are solar-powered lights right here. We actually got an email from a viewer who lives in this area who tells us that these lights specifically do not do anything to help the lighting issue in this area when it is dark out. The school does have a speed limit for school times. Normally it's 40 miles per hour, but during those times, those specific times, it lowers down to 20 miles per hour. However, that doesn't begin until 7.30 a.m., two hours after police say this happened. Back to you. No doubt they will be taking a look at those, Megan, just a nightmare on the first day of school. Thank you very much. Frisco is just one of about a dozen districts in our area starting school today. So is much of Collin County, including Plano, McKinney and Lovejoy, Lancaster and Prosper also back in class. All those kids returning and today's tragic accident, a stark reminder to watch out for those school buses and those school zones. The kids are trying to cross the road to get to class. Stacia Wilson here with what you need to know. Stacia. Most of us obviously have heard of these laws before, but it's always a good time to remind drivers exactly what to do when the kids head back to school. Just looking at what you can expect when it comes to bus passing. Really, I'm going to step out so you can get a better look at these graphics. If it's two lanes, directions both ways, all lanes have to stop. So that means drivers going both north, south, east and west, west, it doesn't matter. You all have to stop. If a school bus stops, puts out its stop sign and flashes its lights. For four lane highways or roadways, you do have pavement in the middle on a number of those that separates the directions. You still have to stop. Just like the previous example, all lanes of traffic must stop when the school bus stops. The only time the opposite direction can go is when you have some sort of type of barrier separating the two directions. Obviously, the drivers behind the school bus still have to stop, but those approaching from the opposite direction definitely need to slow down, but can proceed with caution. So those are some good things to remember. Obviously, when you see those yellow flashing lights and the posted school zone signs, slow down. Usually, most of those school zones, 20 miles per hour or less. So it's always good to remind folks, especially this time of year, exactly what's going on and how to behave when you get into those school zones.